Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with here today with another video. Uh, this time we are going to do the WrestleMania 40 Night 2 predictions. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed Night 1. A uh, very good time with a bunch of friends. They're basically the same people coming over to my place this time tonight to watch Night 2. But um, I went, my predictions last year, Night 1 mirror, kind of mirrored last year. Uh, I know there's only seven matches here, and I've considered my record to be five and three because of the two different winners here. One of these I got wrong, one of them I got right. So just to recap last night before we go into what I think is going to happen or my predictions for Night 2. So I did pick Rhea Ripley to win, so 1-0. and oh. Then here I said if there was one winner, I figured it would be um, the awesome truth. Uh, and if there are two winners, they would still be the awesome truth. But then I picked, um, what is it, uh, New Catch Republic to win the SmackDown titles and not A-Town Down Under. So it's basically two and one there because I got one right and one wrong. Um, here I picked, uh, who did I pick here? Um, I think I actually picked, uh, hold on, I'm going to come back to that one because I remember, I think I might have lost that one. Uh, yeah, I did actually pick Dom. I remember I did pick Dom. So I'm two and two there. I picked Jimmy here as so a two and three, but I got the rest of them right. Um, I got uh, Bianca Jade and Naomi winning there. Sammy uh, finally dethroning Gunter and the Bloodline winning theirs. So five and three. And if you really want to say that I technically got the second one wrong because I did get a pick wrong, then okay, I mean, it was four and three instead of five and three, which that's what I was last year was four and three on night one. But I'm going to go with five and three. Sounds a little better. It's a better record. So let's go to night two. Two, and I'm looking very much looking forward to this night. And actually, what I thought was kind of interesting is that Wikipedia had the matches in their exact order, which they don't usually get correct, which is fine. I mean, because the event hasn't happened and things can change. Um, I just thought it was really interesting. I'm like, wait, this is exactly how Wikipedia had it scheduled. So maybe it'll mirror that for night two. And I really think that this is the match that's going to open the night up, uh, even though Seth's got a quick turnaround from, uh, you know, 24 hour turnaround from the day before. But it is what it is. I still think it's going to open up. I. Actually, I'm predicting McIntyre to win, uh, Drew McIntyre to win this match. But for some reason, and this doesn't count against me, McIntyre is the pick. Um, but I think uh, Damian Priest is going to end up cashing in on McIntyre and, and beating him right there to piss off Drew even more. And then Drew finally uh, gets his championship and a good run with it after, uh, um, I guess they're going to uh, Wales again sometime in the next few months. And I think that's where he's going to pick it up again. Because remember, uh, was it like a... A two years ago, maybe, uh, when Solo Sokoa showed up for the first time, was it Clash of the Castle in Wales when Drew almost beat Roman? So I think that's going to kind of play into that a little bit. So I think Drew is going to beat Seth. Wouldn't be disappointed at all if Seth kept the belt, but I do think Drew is going uh, to win with some shenanigans of his own and then get cashed in by Damian Priest, who is then going to just take it from him right away. So let's go to match two. Um, this is probably the one match on the card I really kind of don't give a crap about. But then uh, at first I was kind of like, okay, I don't care. But then uh, there's the Philadelphia Street Fight. So they instead of it just being like a plain old you know six man tag team match, it's got some uh, pizzazz added to it. So this should actually probably end up being pretty fun. It's not going to be the match of the night or anything. I think one of your contenders for match of the night is the Seth Rollins McIntyre match. I also think. Um, Roman and Cody could do it. I think those are probably really the only two contenders for it. Um, but in this match, God, I don't know. Um, I think probably the final testament needs to win more um, than the pride. Um, this one I just don't know. I'm just going to pick the final testament. I don't really know, but I'll pick the final testament. LA Knight versus AJ Styles. AJ is probably going to make LA Knight look like a million bucks because that's what AJ does. Probably one of the best wrestlers I've ever seen. Uh, and I don't say that lightly, but I'm actually going to pick LA Knight. In this match because I think um, that's what AJ is here for is to put LA Knight over and give him a win over a high quality opponent so that I think will happen here the US title match I was thinking about this one it seems like Randy and Kevin are a bit too chummy with each other um, they both have a history of turning on people but I don't think that's necessarily gonna happen here um, I think Logan Paul ends up retaining I, I just don't really see him losing I don't know what's going to happen in this match, really, but the belt doesn't really do anything for Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, either one of them. Uh, Logan Paul keeps it. I, I don't have a problem with that. I'm sure it'll be it'll be an entertaining match. EO Sky versus Bailey. I'm picking Bailey in this one. Uh, I don't. I like EO Sky a lot, actually, as a wrestler. I just don't 
it just feels like she hasn't really done much of anything with the belt. Oops, scroll down a little bit. And I think Bailey kind of needs to get her WrestleMania match. I know that's kind of a early WrestleMania moment, is what I meant to say. Because she's been in a WrestleMania match before, of course. You know, Charlotte's had hers, Becky's had hers, Sasha had hers. Now, Bailey kind of deserves hers as well, and I think she ends up taking it tonight. That's just kind of the way the story seems to be going. And I think this will be a pretty entertaining match as well. I think this will be pretty good. And then Roman versus Cody. So, if you watched what happened last night, uh, like I said, I picked the Bloodline to win. Not surprised that they did. I, there's absolutely going to be shenanigans in this match, just by the way it's set up. It's a Bloodline rules match, which essentially means, I think, just no disqualifications. So, you're going to see Solo get involved. You're probably going to see um, the Usos both get involved. You know, Jimmy for Roman and Jay for Cody. Um I'm sure Rollins might try to get involved to some degree, but there is also the, uh, what's it called? Uh, and that There's one screenshot you can see of, I think when The Rock was beating the crap out of Cody uh, on that one Raw, it was either last, was it this last Monday or the Monday before? Um, it was the Monday before. Um, that uh, you saw the, a screenshot of, there was a poster, or not a poster, but like it was on like one of the trucks. It was uh, John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin were on there and, I, people are starting to think like maybe there's going to be some shenanigans with them, you know. Considering the Rock is going to be involved in Roman Re on Roman Reigns' side, maybe that's a thing that happens um, with both of those, with both of them. But uh, my overall pick, though, I think Cody is going to end up winning. I picked Cody last year. Um, I didn't really necessarily have a problem with Roman winning it, but I think at this point. I think Cody wins. I've, I've heard that Roman is actually going to be taking uh, a lot of time off after uh, WrestleMania, so it, it doesn't make sense to me at least to um, keep the belt on him if he's not going to be there for a few months. Um, and, yeah, so that's what I think. So going back over it, I picked Drew McIntyre, Final Testament, LA Knight, Logan Paul, Bailey, and Cody to finally finish his story so what do you guys think is going to happen tonight how'd you like on uh, night one how'd you do on any predictions that you had hopefully you did better than me and hopefully tonight i don't pull what i did last year which is i did not get a single prediction right on night two last year so i'm hoping as long as i get one uh, i'll be on a better track but hopefully i can do at least uh, as good as i did on this year's night one so let me know what you guys think in the comments below share with me your predictions i'd like to hear from you and i will talk to you soon